Hello, this is Danny from Danny Design Studio, and this is April Class in a Box. Now, this uh, month I've done the class slightly differently. I've actually given you a whole load of uncut paper and card. So, in your box is three lots of white cardstock, uh, then there's a Bermuda Bay A4, Misty Moonlight, So Saffron, Blushing Bride, and Mint Macaron. Then you've got these four, you've got four envelopes uh, for your cards. Then you have got one, two, three, four, five lots of Butterfly Bijou papers, and they're different on the other side. Then you've got some gems, you've got one piece of twine and two lots of ribbon. And in your little cellophane packet, you have got some sort of sentiment labels uh, that are blank for you to, to put your message on. And then you've got these lovely coloured butterflies and these lovely butterfly dies. So a selection. So I've done this partly because um, I was thinking you may not want to follow my colour pattern. So I thought if I give you lots of different coloured paper and card, then you can do your own pattern. Now, um, your own card design. So what I have done, uh, I've given you this type of card, um, different colours, because in the Butterfly Bijou papers, it gives you all of these, all of these uh, coloured card, because that is what is in these papers. So that's why it matches beautifully. I've chosen a few that I think you would like, um, and so that is why I have done it really. And also, it's good to start a card from scratch because whatever you have in your card stash then you can use the same sort of principles. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So to make our fancy fold card uh, we need a piece of white cardstock, the A4, then I've chosen Bermuda Bay and then two pieces of coordinating DSP that will look okay together because they're going to go in the middle and then the scraps and bits are going to go on the outside. I'm going to choose some butterflies and that's just going to decorate your card. So just pop this to one side. I'm going to start off with our card, white card base. Now this is 14, sorry, 29. So I'm going to cut this to 29, just a smidge off the end there. And then to 10.5. And then that scrap bit we're going to use in a minute. And then scoring it at 14.5. So use my bone folder. There we go. So that's white card base. Keep that white uh, scrap to one side at the moment. So then we want a panel on the front. But we also, out of the Bermuda Bay, need this W fold inside. So we need four squares as well. So we need to organise our piece of A4 wisely so that we can use all of it. So I put a piece of um, Bermuda Bay on the back, but I'm going to use that to make these squares so I'm going to put white on the back because that's where our sentiment and well wishes will go. So I'm just going to first of all do the length of the W fold. So I need to do 28 centimetres. 
cut that down with the long edge at the top I hope I'm in view I'll just move it down a bit just in case I'm not so at the the long edge at the top I want 28 centimeters so I'm going to cut that at 28 centimeters then I'm going to cut it at 3.5 centimeters so this is giving me my W fold so I'm just going to put that to side for a minute I then want a piece of 10.3 sorry 10 uh, by 14 centimeters and that's from, for my front panel so I could get 14 centimeters along this way so I'm just going to cut that down I'm just going to cut it down a little bit because I might want the length of that so then I need to cut it by 10 10 centimeters only just that little bit I need to cut there so that's my, my panel to go on the front there we go that's my W fold. Now I need out of this, I need four, four squares. So four squares at 5.5. .5. Now I think this is a square. I'm trying to get most out of my paper. So I'm going to cut it down to five and then turn it around. That's five centimeters another five and then another five that's only three though so I need another one I'm going to cut that I'll do it this way actually because I'm five by five so there we go, we've got four squares. So then we want four of these white squares as well. So the bit I used from here that's left over, I'm going to cut that down to 4.5. Four point five. These I want four of these at four point five square. Oops. There we go. So they're all the same size, and they're going to be in the middle. So then I need inside. I need two of this coordinating DSP but that is on the reverse of one of these so the next best thing is for me to cut my internal DSP so that is 10 by 14 now I want the the longer edge Uh, 10 by 14 so this is a directional paper I want the the butterflies to go up that side so that is going to be my widest point so 14 is going to be here and then 10 that direction so I need that same with this so yeah I'm gonna go with that 10 10 centimeters and 14 so that's my DSP for inside and then with this I need these 
just two of those at four centimeters so if I cut it as a strip this side then I can get four cent do lots of four centimeters there so we're getting there we're building we're building our little card so let's just make sure we've got everything so we've got our card base we've then got our panel on the front we need a panel on the back we need we've got our two inside pieces then we have got four pieces of Bermuda Bay, four pieces of white and then two pieces to go in those panels. Now what we do need is a white piece panel for the back and we need a white strip in the front. So just going to have to use a piece of white cardstock. I've just got a scrap bit here. So that will be 14 by 10. That's just going to be the back panel where I can write my sentiment on. And then I need a bit of scrap. I need another panel, the white front panel here that's going to be 14 times five. There we go. That's quite big. That is, sorry, that is the DSP panel. So that needs to be 3.5. The DSP panel on the front needs to be slightly bigger. So that should be five, yeah. So you're just using up scraps basically. So that's five and we just need to cut it down to 14. And that will then sit on top like that. Okay, so let us get all our bits and pieces together. So we want to do the show you this there um, so we want to do the front panel so we need to get our card base and our front panel and our ribbon we need to put underneath this front panel so if I get my ribbon in half and then from here I'm going to put a bit of tear and tape. You'd put the tear and tape where you want it in the middle or wherever you you want it but don't put it right to the edge. So you're then going to tear, take that bit of tear and tape off and then you're going to stick that down that side and then stick it down this side. and stick that down just to keep it in position. So then I'm ready to put my top on. So get a piece, get a bit of glue. Pop that on. And then we 
can, while that's here, we can mount that onto there. But before I do that, I just want to put my sentiment on. Now I've got, I'm using Best Year stamp set, um, all sorts of lovely sentiments on here. But it is, ha has got um, a happy Father's Day. To the world, you are a dad to me. To the world, you are a dad. To me, you are the world. And there's a Christmas one as well. But I'm using this Hip Hip Hooray here. Just black memento ink. Just going to pop that to one side. Just have to be careful with the black ink because it just goes everywhere. So then mount that on to my DSP panel. And then that's going to go on the front. And it will just go to the edge of the blue Bermuda Bay panel. So then I'm just going to finish off the back. That is the panel that will go there. It'll hide the ribbon as well as you can write on it. Because this card hasn't really got anything for the inside. You'd spoil the inside if you, if you wrote on it. So you can write on the back. So that's done. So then we'll do the um, little butterfly shortly, but we're going to put the panels in the front, in the inside. So let's pop the glue on there. On this side. want this bit to go onto that side, get the bone folder, and then this one, make sure the butterflies are the right way up, that to go this side. Make sure the edge is all nice and stuck down. You can do that with your bone folder. So there we go. That's starting to build. Right, so then we've got the inside. We've got to then put our little W fold in. So with the W fold, you need to get your folds. So get your scorer out again and you score with the long side at the top you score at seven centimeters 14 oops 14 and 21 there we go so then you're going to do a sort of a mountain valley type of folds. So I'm just going to crisp those holes with my bone folder and the other side. Now then I'm going to pop this down and it's not going to go to the edge because the way this is, if we put our glue onto this edge first, I'll show you, best to show you, otherwise I don't make any sense. 
put this folder in first so you're going to it's not going to go right to the edge so you're going to have to guess where it should go and I'm just going to put mine there make sh making sure it's straight and then I'm going to just put that there like that and then I'm going to put the glue onto here and it will go in the best position because at the end of the day this has got to go flat it's got to be in the post so just take a quick look to see if you're happy with that this could move a little bit make sure it's nice and flat and there we go it's not going to open fully but thereabouts so you then want to put your little squares on so before we do that we got two panels well we've got four four squares and then we've got two white well sorry they're all white and then two of them have got the DSP so I'm going to do stick those together first get those out of the way and then you're gonna stick the white white on first gives you a nice little border and then your DSP I'd love to know what colors you decide to choose if you did a different color I would love to see it so if you do do let me know won't you send it to me because it will be nice to see it in all pink or orangey colors so there we go that one goes on there So those two are going to go there. Now this one and that one needs to have a, a birthday stamp on it. So I'm just going to pop me birthday sentiment on. Sorry for my... Oh, that hasn't come out very straight. Let's do on the other side. I might have to get my head in now or take it out of shot just to see if it's straight. There we go, that will do. And then I've got a hay somewhere. Just as well. You can see through these blocks. There we go. Let's get this memento out of the way because I'm bound to put my fingers in it. Now with this, because you've got a little sort of lip, you can just, because I've turned it over, I can just squash that down. So then that is mounted onto here. build up our little card and then we can pop our little butterfly on on this piece just as a decoration really so that's going to go there and then we're ready to pop them all on now when you do pop them on just arrange which I'm just alternating these DSPs and the sentiments 
So when you do it, when you mount it, remember you're just doing it in the middle, you're putting the glue. And you're sort of having a look to see if it's in the middle and whether you're happy with it. slides around this glue so you want it sort of top and bottom to be the same distance so it'll look nice so making sure you're just popping it in the middle that's gonna go there and same with this Right, so once you're happy with it, make sure it's glued down and then just need to make sure it closes well and it does. So last bit is the, let's have a look at our original, there we go, that's what we need to do, pop this on, I'm just going to give it a little bit of depth and 3D bit, sort of curve it round with your bone folder. And then a little bit more delicately done with your bone fold on the butterfly die. Oh, pops all coming out. So then I just pop a little bit of glue in the body part of the butterfly. Pop that on. And again in the middle. Pop that one off. There we go. That's going to go in the middle. And last bit is some gems. I quite like doing the middle with some gems. The middle of the butterfly. Oops. Oopsie daisy, these always fly away from me. They don't want to be added. And there we go. So then this got it just tied up like that. I actually love this ribbon. The sheer ribbon is I think it's nicer. But I just gave you the white in case you want to do a different colour because this wouldn't go with that colour. So there we go. That's our, our fancy fold. Right, so moving on to the next one is the next one, card two, I think I have put on your, on your sheet, your instruction sheet is the saffron one pretty sure i have let me just check yeah card two is the saffron one so saffron i've chosen because we've got we've got some lovely dsp colors of that so the saffron is um Let's get the saffron. So I then cut that uh, with my A4. I'm going to score it at 10.5. Then I'm going to cut it with the long side at the top at 14.8. So Oops. 
crease in my bone folder. So I've got my base, then I need a white bit of scrap. So I'd go back to my white cardstock. In fact, I've got a bit more of a white scrap here. So the white uh, scrap is 14.9 times by six. So we cut that down times six. That's that bit. And then this is the bit I've taken. So that is 14.9 times 5 centimetres. Just gives you a little white border. So that's that. Then with this, I'm just going to put my sentiment on there. So I put you did it on the original um, and I'm going to put happy birthday to you I think on this one which is here just in memento Mac I'm just going to make sure sometimes it doesn't ink up straight away very well, so I'm just going to pop that down there. But you could use one of your label sentiments that I've given you. Then going to glue it on. to be careful with the memento because it tends to tends to um, if you get it on your fingers you then get it everywhere so that is going to go nicely onto there but before we do we want our twine find the twine I had. Oh, there we go. So you're then going to wrap the twine and the bow is going to be at the top. So I'm going to wrap my twine and that has to be at the side a little bit more because I've got my sentiment there. I'm going to wrap it twice. slightly tighter than normal and then when you're ready once you're happy with it pop it down just going to move that over a little bit and then do my bow So then it's going to go flat onto the page. If you want to move it up, you can. And glue it in position. Might have put too much glue on there. Right, so then out of my little cellophane packet, I want the yellow, 
and I just want a smaller one. So again, I'm going to use bits of 3D shaping with the bone folder. I mean, if you wanted to post this, then you may not want to do too much with that. Now, I will pop that there, but I also think I want to hold that bit down as well, only to keep that string in position. So. I might just put some glue there, roll it up a little bit. Otherwise the, <clears throat> the string keeps moving around everywhere. And then I might put this one down here actually. Glue's dried up already. This is the problem now. I can't see where my gems have gone. <laughs> I, oh, there they are. Can't see for looking sometimes. But I have got quite a big desk here. And no matter what, I still manage to lose stuff. you get the idea. So the insert for this would be 14.2 times 10 centimetres. So <coughs> I've given you enough spare white to go inside there. So that's your second card. Now the third card <coughs> is, right, I'm not going to lose this this time is this one. So I have used the Misty Moonlight. It's the same card base, but I've scored it in a different way. So we want Misty Moonlight and we want Mint Macaron for this. And we want that. So, and we want our little sentiment that I've already done. So Mint Macaron, I'm um, sorry, Misty Moonlight is being cut in a different way. So if you go to 14.9 and then score that down the middle of your A4, hope I'm in shot. And then 10.5, you then cut that. And you've got two card bases that you can use. You can use that for another one. So for this is the card base. And then I want the, miss, the mint macaron. I want to cut at 14.2 and then at 10 centimetres. So that will go nicely on top of there. Now that I know is the same width as that, so I'm just going to cut a strip off and that will be at two centimetres. Like that. 
I then need my cardstock, my DSP even, at 9.5 centimeters. Now the direction is this way. So we want our butterflies that way. We don't want our butterflies that way, even though some butterflies are that direction, most of them are that way. So we want to cut it so that it's in the direction of the paper. So you want it at 9.5 in the direction of the pattern is this way and then you want that the top is lengthwise you want it at 13.5 So there we go, you've got a little border around there, and there, and then that, and we're ready to mount it all up. You've then got a little strip here that we use, and a strip here that we use for the last piece of card. I'm just going to put that to one side. So then we can get our card, piece it all together. So glue this. DSP making sure your butterflies are going in the right direction, preferably upwards. Give it a nice little touch with your bone folder to make sure it's all going down in the corners. Then that is going to be a strip that goes across there. right at the edge so then place it where you like it either three quarters of the way down two thirds of the way down or in the middle and then what I've done with this I want to raise it up on some dimensions dimensionals which uh, I haven't got out. There we go. There's a few on here. And then you're just going to do exactly the same with your butterfly. The actual papers, the Bijou papers, butterfly papers, <laughs> have discontinued, which is just such a shame because everybody adores them. <clears throat> and they go so well with these papers, they're just so lovely. So then I've chosen this one. I need a butterfly to go on there. Butterfly die. So there we go. Again, give it some dimension. And then popping my glue into the centre. You could do this with glue dots if you wanted. And then to be quite delicate with these. There we 
we go. That's our third one. Right, so fourth one is this one. So we need a, it's a tent fold, but it's in landscape style. So we need our white card base. So we're going to score it um, we're going to score it at 10.5 and then cut it this is your A4 cardstock cut it at 4.9 so you've then got another piece of cardstock ready to go so I wanted this that way so that's the original then going to put that on there like that because it's just a piece of the leftover cardstock I've then got some butterflies I could use the whole of that but I thought it would be nice to put it um, cut it in half so it's about three centimeters and then I want this to be 14.2 that should go across there like that Okay, so stick this on. Wherever you prefer. Make sure the butterflies are going up the right way. Popping that in the middle. And this is partly just using up bits of scrap really so that um, you can get loads of cards from from this one pack of this one card kit so then you want a little sentiment here so I'm going to actually use what I have given you quite like this one but I need to find something that will that will go onto it. So happy birthday! That will go onto it. So I'm going to use this then. So then. I'm going to mount that up on some dimensionals. Just got a few left here. I'm really scraping the barrel now. I have put my dimensional somewhere and I don't know where it is and I don't want to waste your time. So just take these off. to one side and then I'm going to <coughs> just add some butterflies that's a nice one and this one And maybe another little one. I'm going to leave this a flatter one just in case I need to post it. Where shall I put this? 
finish off the great dimensionals of course we need dimensionals gems even what am I talking about this just finishes it off nicely quite a simple card isn't it that it's using up the scraps that you have got and then I thought I'll do the insert for this because um, so the insert you can use this scrap inside so I'll just show you how to do that so 14.9 14.2 sorry 14.2 times 10 centimeters and these sentiments are quite nice to go inside every thoughtful thing you do and um, that that's quite nice to go inside um, in your card so I was going to put that either there or a strip here like that obviously it needs to be cut to size so let's have a go 14.2 just at the bottom because I want them going upwards so The white card stock in Stampin' Up uh, is slightly not as many grams, it's not as many much weight as the coloured card stock. So you do need something inside, even the white, I think, especially a tent fold, because sometimes it will you need the weight of the back to counteract the weight at the front so I'm just going to pop that in okay so it just it's using up the scraps you can pop inside as well and it gives your card especially the white card stock a little bit more weight as well so let's have a look at all our cards and that one so what is really good um, is that you will have also lots of card stock left over so you will have another green you'll have the pink what I haven't used you'll have white you'll have scraps of white you'll have another yellow so saffron you'll have this DSP that I haven't used at all and sentiments and bits and pieces in there so you'll have loads of leftovers so that you could make your car more cards. So I hope you've enjoyed it and um, thank you for joining me and hope to see you next time. Until then, happy stamping crafters. If you like this video, please click the like button below and please subscribe and select the bell icon to all to receive notifications of when I upload. Thank you.